Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you? Welcome cross watchers. If you're new to the channel, happy to have you join us. I know it looks a little gloomy here. Um, I'm doing your reading a little bit ahead of time because I got another hurricane coming. And this one, um, yeah, I was just saying the other day to my ex-husband, I'm like, I did really well in the last one because I'm not in a flood zone. I'm like one of the few parcels of land that's high and dry. I said, I only have to worry if it's coming right at us off the Gulf. Guess what? It's coming right at us off the Gulf. So I may have to evacuate. So I don't have the luxury to um, pick and choose when to get this reading done for you, my loves. So here we go. Gateway of Light Activation Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what comes through for you. Um, if I go MIA, if you don't see something up on the channel around about Thursday, Friday, you know something bad happened. Um, I should be back online by then. Just saying. Start a GoFundMe page. Um, Chamber of the Violet Flame. Ooh, I love it. Karmic release, radical transformation. Beautiful. If you're unfamiliar with Violet Flame, uh, Google that because it is a very powerful energy. It is very protective energy, very transformational energy. Um, and we are in karmic release mode right now as we're still in eclipse well, we're sort of um, the last Libra new moon with the solar eclipse. We kind of uh, closed out one little part of eclipse season, but it kicked off a very large lunar cycle from the Libra new moon, which will go six months until the Libra full moon. So it's still all about relationships and karmic releases therein. Okay, so violet flame for you. Um, let me tell you what's happening in the cosmos right now because there's a lot going on. Um, as you receive this reading on the 8th, we have Venus and Mars in a lovely trine. That's good because that's divine feminine and divine masculine energy kind of coming together nicely. Uh, we are just kind of closing out that grand water trine which ran from the fourth to the eighth so we are we've been in the fields a lot the last few days mercury all the communication is also making a lovely trine to jupiter so there could be some over the top communications but maybe for the better okay instead of you know being so tense and mercury um with chiron there so some of these communications could be quite healing I know that's why karmic release I get to let some shit go. All right. So I'm going to pull the spread, give you my general impressions. Uh, we'll get the details from the clarifiers. Do remember it's a general, not a private reading. So it may not resonate for everyone. Take what speaks to you. Leave the rest. I do offer private readings. The link is always below, but you may have to scroll a little bit to get to it. it takes you to my booking page where you can get all the details. Um, as always, energies can come through reverse. What that means is I may be speaking directly to a cross watcher. Here we go, Leo. Hmm, Queen of Swords. So you may have some questions. There may be some information you're seeking, right? Getting at the truth of a situation. What's crossing you? Yeah, there it is, right? Like what's going on here? Mm -hmm. um, and the devil can come in just certainly as some fears, egoic resistance. Maybe you're meeting up with some kind of um either within yourself or within the connection some kind of power struggle yeah at the root <laughs> at the root of the situation or in your unconscious awareness it's all about commitment um commitment to each other other commitments you know honoring the vows we make and take our responsibilities obligations there in the past six of wands so the Six of Wands can be uh, about a reconciliation. We might have been on the road to that, or it's something that already occurred. And here in Conscious Awareness, the Four of Pentacles, uh, maybe feeling a little guarded, somebody holding back on you, right? Kind of holding their cards. And in the near future, press pause, hanged man. Ooh, got to take 30,000 foot view and look at this situation from a few different angles and wait for the enlightenment before just 
acting on impulse. This is a good thing. So it's already like your spidey senses are up. Like I gotta get, I gotta take a, a very practical level-headed look at this because I'm meeting up with something that doesn't feel very good, um, right? And then in the near future, instead of acting in the moment, just sort of scoping out the situation, waiting for some enlightenment. It's okay to press pause. I think this is a temporary standstill, nothing too permanent. If you missed it, I did do the October 2024 Love Tarot Energy Update. Those readings at the beginning of every month, in case you're new, I'm telling you that, hi. Um, take the month week by week by week. So I start and it's time stamped with a little oracle and then this time around I did the tarot reading first and then I did the astrology so you could look at what's unfolding each week like I just gave you a little you know sneak peek for what's happening on, on the day that I'm posting this. And it shows that by the end of the month, things kind of soften, soften. The edges get softened as we close out October, just so you know. If you didn't watch it, go watch it. Queen of Swords and the Devil. Five of Pentacles, there's the Sun, hello, Leo, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, right. So we're feeling like someone is um not acting themselves i feel and that's what you really want to uh, get at right that five of pentacles isn't feeling the norm we have all this potential happiness the happiness you bring each other that this connection has available to it this sort of once in a lifetime kind of a love thing um and yet there's some really dark negative karmic energy. That's why you're getting the Chamber of the Violet Flame for, for karmic release. And it's, it's coming from, I feel, some form of um, control. And it's, it may be uh, finding its way into your own sense of self-worth. I like that the Queen of Swords is here because it tells me that on some level you're trying to get at the truth before you internalize this, which is really good. So if you missed it, the second half of September, all the readings were sort of a little shadow release oriented, Violet Flame. Um, and so I'm seeing the results of that here because this is about commitment. It is about um something that you feel is important and so instead of internalizing uh, someone's maltreatment or manipulation or their shadow as your shadow instead of being enmeshed that way you're coming in with some measure of practicality and level-headedness and let's just deal with each other straight here let me sure be sure i understand what's happening here so let's see that hierophant you know, it could be this person's self-worth and value. Whenever I see, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I ate a piece of plastic. You ever eat something and you felt like you unwrapped it and then you got like <laughs> pieces of plastic wrap? Okay. So at the root of the problem here is there's something that's, um, Lacking in the wish fulfillment department, maybe growing a little stagnant, a little complacent. Like it seems good on the surface, but it's really not. Underneath, we have the Three of Cups. So for those who are new, when I'm pulling from the bottom of the deck, I'm tapping into your unconscious awareness or there's something playing out behind the scenes. Maybe whatever it is, you can't see it. So it's like a hidden factor. And maybe that's what you want to know. Like I'm trying to forge a commitment here, but is, is there something else in the way? Is there someone else in the way? And so that devil be kind, of, kind of becomes the linchpin to the situation. And it may be something that has played out before. So you definitely have that right in that Queen of Swords energy to sort of be um, uh, uh, 
discerning. Six of Wands, Three of Wands, Eight of Swords, Page of Swords. Yeah, you know, you've been on this sort of search for truth, um, anticipating that reconciliation and not really, and this is in the past, not really being able to find your next best step forward as you anticipated something coming toward you. So this is something that you likely waited for um, anticipated is the better word not really waited but anticipated some kind of a reconciliation some kind of a meeting in the middle some kind of negotiation compromise I'm feeling that that devil is more control. Uh, slight, slight tinge of manipulative control. And so you've been anticipating that compromise and you really kind of didn't know how you were going to approach it and so you were anticipating that opportunity a lot of curiosity uh waiting for the you know the message to hear what you needed to hear to go okay well now this is something i can work with right and i don't know i don't know that it came or if it came i don't know that it was very satisfying so you're left with unanswered questions and maybe not really the reconciliation you we're anticipating so four of pentacles and remember the theme is commitment right like we agreed to this i thought we agreed to this is what i hear being said i thought we i thought i thought so so why are you holding back on me now why are you pulling back on me now Four of Pentacles, pulling back. I thought we had kind of like reviewed all this. Four of Swords, can it be healing? Sure, but it can also be review, reevaluate, re reassess, reflect. And the Knight of, Cu Knight of Cups, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, okay. Underneath on some level, there's something that's moving slowly, maybe coming toward you. But it could also be you kind of pulling back on the reins, slowing things down. But I'm feeling like... This Four of Pentacles is you sort of constricting a little bit. As you're seeking to get the information that you need. Hanged man. You don't want to let go of the connection. I understand that. There we go. Okay. As with everyone else, it kind of ends the same way. It's like the whole month sort of goes in, in this way, like a danger Will Robinson, and then, ah, uh, and then at the end it's like, oh, all right, we're good. It's every single sign, right? So pull yourself up out of the situation, safe vantage point, because you know, as I said, we have some communication situations that have been a little bumpy. It's getting better as of today, effectively, it's getting better, but we're still gonna wanna like hold our tongue, evaluate the situation. The hanged man is like a temporary standstill. It's not, doesn't have to be permanent stagnation, it's, it's Neptune. So it's very spiritual, but it's also very decidedly a perspective card, gaining perspective, right? How bummed out should I really be? You know, is this a major problem or am I just a little disenchanted? And then here it comes. What you were anticipating then finally arrives and off to the races. So I do feel things will move, you'll turn the page, probably more toward the end of the month. Um, but yeah, with this fool, remember, there's some risk assessment built into the fool, and so you, it would behoove you to stay in your queen of swords. Gosh, I said the same darn thing 
who did I say it to? I want to say uh, cancer. Cancer got a very similar message from me, like, um, yeah, channel your inner queen of swords. You come right out with it. So um, be discerning. Look before you leap. But you can anticipate that that six of wands, which is where you negotiate or come to some form of a compromise, uh, because somebody's digging their heels in on you here, Leo, or you could cross watcher. If you're dealing with a Leo, that's a bit stubborn, and, right? Don't internalize it as a value statement about you. Ride the wave, and by the end of the month, it should all work out, okay? Yeah, somebody's got their heels dug in, but they'll come around. That is what I have for you for now. I do want to look at this person who ever is in that devil energy. And it's not that they're the devil. That's not what I'm saying. They're, they're, they're dealing with some control, a little manipulative. Eh, maybe, there's, maybe this is them slowing down Knight of Pentacles, right? We're going to do it at my pace. I can feel a little bit of that. Okay, so we're going to look at that in the extended and how they're seeing this relationship and how they see you, think about you, feel about you, and what are their intentions, because that's really the most important thing. And so if this is really spot on for you, that's where you're going to find out what their plans are. The links to that are below. Option one is a monthly renewal. Option two is just a one time only for this reading only. And option three is the all access pass where you get everything. Okay, so check that out. And um, before I give you the astrology, if this was specifically very um, in alignment with your experience, and if you've been enjoying my readings and you have not yet done so, please do subscribe below. And that is uh, how you get to keep me here on this platform. It's getting harder. Um, since October 1st, I've been reading pretty much every day and somehow 30 subscribers have disappeared. So if you know that every reading I'm gaining subscribers and 30 subscribers have disappeared, you know I've lost more than that. It doesn't make sense. It is, it is not like I can't suck that bad, guys. Something's wrong. Something's really wrong. Okay? So the only way I can get put in front of new potential subscribers is if you all generate some interest in my videos by subscribing, viewing, liking, sharing, you know the drill. Okay, that's my ask. Here we go. Queen of Swords is here twice. That's Libra. Our, our devil card here is Capricorn. We have the sun, which is the sun, but rules the lovely sign of Leo. Uh, Hierophant is Taurus. Yes, indeed. Page of Swords is... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Knight of Pentacles is Virgo. Neptune here in the in the um, Hanged Man, which rules Pisces. And the Fool is um, the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. Yeah, my only other option is to just only read for those signs that watch, which at this point is Leo, Virgo, and Pisces. That's my only option. And to generate, build, rebuild the channel that way. And, you know, the heck with everybody else. That is my only option at this point. So I'm hoping that <laughs> you here understand what I'm trying to say. And so, and having a hurricane coming at me and possibly being out of power for maybe up to two or three weeks um, could really wipe me out. So subscribe. Thanks again. I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there. Bye.